All right, thank you for tuning in to The Secret Vault. I am your host, Jax Beats, and today I got a special guest, Mook Pesci. What's up, Mook? Man, what's good, man? Happy to be here, man. What's up with you, man? Man, we chilling, man. You know, I got to find out who all the hot people is around Raleigh, so I'm gathering all y'all up, man, to find out who y'all are for the people. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. First okay. thing everybody want to know, where are you originally from? From Raleigh, North Carolina, man. Halifax Court. Okay, I'm Halifax raised. Court. All right, born in bed. So you was born in like Wake Med, Rex Hospital, something like that? Yeah, Wake Med. Okay. Yeah, if from Raleigh ain't born in Wake Med, man. <laughs> South Side anyway. Yeah, that's what I was told, man. Yeah. Real life. You got any siblings? Yeah, I got two brothers, two older brothers. Okay, they in the music business too? Or, you know, they trying to get down uh, or what? They just behind me, basically. And I guess they see, they know I like this shit, so I guess they... Um, and so they just show you support? Mm-hmm. That's what you need, definitely gotta have that support. All right, next question is, how was your childhood? It was, I mean, I had a regular childhood. I ain't gonna say it was all fucked up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, shit. It's so pretty cool. Childhood. It was straight, you feel me? You was with your, your mom saying? and your dad, or you was in a single parent? I was with parent? my mom. Just your mom? Yeah, you feel me? She did the best she could. You know what I'm saying? My brothers, they stepped up, did what they could. You know what I'm saying? They made sure I was straight. You keep that in trouble, man. You feel me, sir? That's cool. Mm. You I ain't keep gonna lie and say, oh, my fucked up childhood. Man. <laughs> I just keep it being, you know what I'm saying? Well, what about your father, man? Do you keep in contact with him? or? I mean, he around. I be seeing him sometimes. You feel me? I ain't seen him. I probably seen him in like, what, like six years, maybe? Okay, I get it. I see what the situation is. We're not going to bombard you with that. It's yeah, a lot of that going girl. around. Yeah. All right. Um. So, do you yourself have any children? Yeah, I got a little girl. Oh shit! How old is your daughter? She eight. Okay. So, she got any like like musical talents? You see her singing or rapping or anything, or she got she on something else? Mm -hmm. Who knows? You feel me? At this age, you know our kids on. Doesn't have many talents. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, now, um, being that you have children. Uh, I heard your, your raps and you be on some of that, that street, you know what I'm saying? Are you concerned about your daughter coming across, you know, your music and your videos and getting the wrong impression or? I mean, not at all because the end of the day it's me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want her to see nothing else from nobody else besides me, so. I can I dig that. Let me get it, get it from home base. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so. The mother of your daughter, are you together or oh, you man. not together? You single? What's going on with your relationship status? Oh, man. Shit, I got a girl, you feel me? Oh, you know, okay. For a you better shout her it out. Ain't, it ain't the baby mama though, like that. But you got <laughs> shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so ladies, he's off the market right now. He, he got somebody holding him down right now. So y'all make sure y'all back off at the shows. All right, so how old were you when you decided to start writing rhymes and rhyming? and all of that stuff like that. Oh, man, I say at least 10. Okay. I fell in love with around age 10. Okay, uh, how did you get the name Mook, Mook Pesci? <laughs> and does that have well, any I kind mean, of I had the name Mook, Mook was like a family name. Okay. You know how you get nicknames in your family. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Pesci. Joe Pesci, one of my favorite actors. My okay, family. yeah, I forgot about Joe, Goodfellas. Yeah. yeah Goodfellas is my favorite movie. Yeah, mobs. Okay, that's that mob. Okay. Mm. All right, so I get it. All right, um, were you inspired by any famous like music artists at, at, at you know at any time during your childhood or career? Around right here, growing up when I was in school, we used to listen to Two Hundred. Okay. So, I don't know if anybody familiar with me, but you should be. A we got. A, we here. have an interview scheduled with Mr. Two Hundred. He's mm -hmm. definitely a legend in this area. Yeah, he a legend. Shook the crook. Okay, definitely shook too. Like that, you feel me? Definitely, we definitely need shook down yep. here too. Okay, so those those are the people that inspired, like anything that I hear coming out, I'm gonna hear bits and pieces of what shook and two hundred had. I mean, shit, any person comes out of Raleigh, you gonna hear bits and pieces from them. Oh, that's yeah, what's up. Yeah, I mean, most of them rap person style basically kind of got a little chip from me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then, all right, they so pioneers out here. Do you have a favorite artist right now? Yeah, Moon Pesci. I can dig that. <laughs> um, I'm trying right. to focus on myself, so I ain't got time to be really trying to, you know. Are you listening to anybody right now other than your own music? Yeah, I be listening to the baby. 
Okay. Lil Baby. Yeah, he hot right, right now. Him and uh, what's his artist? Uh, Stunner. Stunner, yeah. Yeah, I'm him and Stunner. So I need to get. Hey, if y'all listening, y'all get a hold of this interview. Stunner, baby, come through Raleigh, man, and, and find the hot. secret vault. Find me, man. I'm trying to get with y'all too. All right, so um, getting on to the next question. Have you worked with any other local artists around the Raleigh area? Yes, sir. Who you work with? Oh shit. Man, probably artists you don't know, you feel me, but y'all gonna know them. Drop some, yeah. drop a couple, give me a couple names. Like my whole boy Slick. Okay. He just did a record that's on YouTube, Score. Okay. So y'all make sure y'all check that shit out, man. Yeah, I'm that video is crazy. Yep, um, shit, A1. I'm okay. I'm sure y'all seen him before. He be around here. Yeah. Um, shit. Yeah. I got a couple songs with a lot of, a lot of uh, local artists, to be real, you feel me? Okay. I ain't gonna name drop everyone, but I got a lot of songs. Okay, so you know he's definitely open to network and, and collaborate. So if you're an artist and you want to know about Mook getting on a record, if, if somebody had to ask you for a feature as of right now where you are, are you charging for features right now? Hell no. So somebody can work with you just to make some hot music and yeah, keep things yeah. rolling? I do it for the love, I ain't even man. All right, so we're we going to definitely put his contacts in the description and also he's going to tell y'all where y'all can find him at the end of the, um, the interview here. All right, so moving on to the next question. Are you signed to any label or production company right now? No, not at the moment, man. I'm trying to make my own label. I'm trying to have my own shit going. So you're going to go the independent route forever? Like yeah. Young Dolph and yeah. Master P? You're going to hear about official money game. Make sure y'all hear. Make sure y'all listen close. Official money game. Y'all better watch that. It's on the ride. Off, I already Definitely. got one little artist I'm working with. You feel me? It's going to be plenty more. All right, so time. you got two really hot videos on youtube so just tell me a little bit about both of those videos how they came about about the songs in them the people that sent them uh let's start with uh the first one how i was raised that one man that that caught a lot of attention oh, yeah. tell, tell me a little bit about about that video and what's going on and i mean it's, it's really kind of self-explanatory you feel me i mean how i was raised you feel me it's kind of self-explanatory it's pretty much you telling me. people how block where i be at you feel me all right mean, Straight, you feel me? My man Thrax in there, my brother in there, you feel me? Okay. Shot by my homeboy, you know what I'm saying? Shit lit. So Thrax is a, is an artist that you are putting out on Official Money Game? Yeah, Official Money Game, first artist. Okay, so y'all y'all be on the lookout for Thrax, he's coming. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Um, What about the other music video uh, you just released? Uh, what was oh, that called? Score. Score? Yeah. My man Slick. Okay, yeah, so, she a hit, man. So is Slick another artist from Official Money Gang, or is he nah, doing this? Slick, Slick got his own shit going on, man. Slick hot, he got his own shit going on. Now, from what I understand, um, he was picked up recently by law enforcement for some sort of issue he had going on. Was it a probation violation, or he got caught up in something else? Shit, I don't know. You don't even know. Yeah, well, free Slick, you know. Free Slick. Y'all stay tuned. Boy trouble. Yeah, make sure y'all um, you know y'all can't write the boy if y'all know who he is. I don't know. If, who's watching that may know him or not, you know, make sure you send letters to people that's behind the wall. All right, uh, moving on to the next one. Next question is, oh, where do you see yourself in the entertainment industry within the next 10 years? Um, on the TVs, on the cameras. So you trying, everywhere. To, trying to get into television and movies? No, just y'all gonna see me everywhere, see me a lot. Billboard, posters everywhere, y'all gonna see me. I'm gonna have something to do with it, man. I'm gonna make a name for myself. I'm gonna make sure official money game gets stamped in this industry some way, somehow. That's what you gotta do. That's what everybody's goal mission should be if you're gonna be in any kind of industry, especially entertainment. All right, so next question is, uh, do you have any other talents besides music? Any other uh, skills? I'm a jack of all trades, man. Give jack me some examples. Trades, man. That was jack of all trades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that, we just gonna leave it at that. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna get too, you know. too in detail with that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right, um, moving on to the very next question. Have you ever been incarcerated to jail or prison? Oh, no, sir. Never. Nope. That's what's up, man. Okay, nope, you don't really nope, find too nope. many, you know, people that ain't got no records or nothing like that, so that's a good thing. Mr. Mook Pesci does not have any record. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mm -hmm. Pesci smart me, y'all niggas. That's what's up. All right, so that brings us to the close of this interview, man. So the last question is, uh, tell people how they can find you on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. 
Man, Bobby, look me up on the book, man. Pesci Moon. You know what I'm saying? The ground, same thing. Pesci Moon. YouTube. Y'all know, man. Follow my shit, man. Fuck with me. All right, well, see more. All right, well, that does it right here for the Secret Vault. Keep your ear to the street and always stay tuned. That was Mook Pesci. We out. Peace.